I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about lion's mane mushroom as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Lion's mane is a medicinal mushroom proven to benefit the brain, nerves, and immune system. Unlike other mushrooms sporting a cap and stem, Lion's mane has a long flowing white tendrils, resembling a lion's mane. Other names include monkey's head, bearded tooth, pom-pom blanc, hedgehog mushroom, and satyr's beard. This parasitic fungus grows hanging off logs and trees and is native to North America, Europe, and Southeast Asia. In Japan, it's called Yamabushitaki, or those who sleep in mountains referring to the Shigendo sect of hermit monks and their long flowing robes. Now as a nootropic, lion's mane has been shown to be particularly effective in stimulating nerve growth factor in the brain. Nerve growth factor is produced in the hippocampus throughout life, modulating cholinergic receptors and neuroplasticity, and it's essential for learning. Nerve growth factor are special proteins that function to regenerate neurons. Lion's mane contains two unique classes of nerve growth factors that easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, lion's mane, like other medicinal mushrooms, contain high amounts of an antioxidant called beta-glucooxaline and four other polysaccharides and polypeptides having a significant impact on enhancing your immune system and decreasing uh, tumor growth. Lion's mane has been studied in reducing amyloid plaques. These clumps of beta amyloid proteins block signals between neurons and are implicated in Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases. Lion's mane is also used to treat Lyme's disease and digestive tract issues. But here we're talking about lion's mane mushroom and its effects on brain health and chemistry. Lion's mane works in the brain primarily in two ways. First, lion's mane mushroom stimulates the synthesis of nerve growth factor. This is a protein that plays a major role in the maintenance, survival, and regeneration of neurons. Nerve growth factors is required by your brain to keep neurons strong and healthy. When various neurological disorders occur, your brain is unable to produce its own internal source of nerve growth factors. In a study done in Kuala Lumpur in 2013, scientists showed that lion's mane extract induced nerve growth factor synthesis and promoted neurite outgrowth. In the second way, Lion's mane is effective in reducing anxiety and depression. Some even call it the smart mushroom for its ability to improve cognition, memory, and work as an antidepressant. A study by researchers in Japan worked with 30 women. The female subjects had been complaining about menopause, depression, sleep, sleep quality, and other issues. The women randomly received lion's mane laced cookies or a placebo for four weeks. The researchers found that lion's mane has the possibility to reduce depression and anxiety, and these results suggest a different mechanism of action from nerve growth factor enhancing action of lion's mane. At least a dozen peer-reviewed studies have been published on lion's mane benefits to the brain to brain health since uh, 1991. Dr. Kabagishi of Japan was the first to identify nerve growth factor properties in lion's mane mushroom. In a one double blind placebo controlled trial, researchers in Japan worked with 50 to 80 year old men and women, all suffered from mild cognitive impairment. The trial subjects received four 250 milligram tablets containing 90% uh, Yamabushitaki or lion's mane dry powder three times a day for 16 weeks. The men and women were tested at 4, 8, 12, and 16 weeks. At each of these testing periods, the subjects who had uh, used lion's mane showed a significant improvement in cognitive scores. 
and their scores were increasing while on Lion's Mane. But uh, four weeks after stopping supplementation with Lion's Mane, their cognitive scores decreased significantly. So the lesson there is you're going to use Lion's Mane, you've got to keep on using it. The research has concluded that lion's mane mushroom is effective in improving mild cognitive impairment. You may not experience the effects of supplementing with lion's mane mushroom immediately, but many users report with continued use of lion's mane a boost in mood and mental energy. Some report it increases depth perception, an improvement in the sense of smell, Others testify to improved decision-making and the ability to solve problems in learning, likely due to lion's mane's ability to improve neuroplasticity. Now, the overall consensus is lion's mane mushroom's ability to lessen anxiety, uh, reduce depression, and improve concentration. Now, like I mentioned before, there's quite a bit of research on lion's mane. If you want to see links to more of the studies that I talked about here, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for lion's mane or click on the link below this video and you'll see studies on how lion's mane prevents cognitive dysfunction. I've got another study showing how lion's mane induces nerve growth factor. And another one, which is very cool, lion's mane repairs nerves. Actually, I'm going to talk about this one here now. In this study, it was done on rats. Uh, lion's mane extract was able to promote neuron regrowth after injury. Now, these rats had gluteal nerve damage, and they were able to walk again after consuming water containing lion's mane extract. The researchers concluded that lion's mane regenerates damaged uh, nerve cells. In this case, the reversal was so profound that the rats went from being totally disabled to walking again. That's amazing. Dosing of lion's mane mushroom depends on the strength of the extract. It's available in capsule and powder form. For uh, lion's mane 10 to 1 extract or 30% polysaccharides, the daily dosage is five to a thousand, 500 to 1,000 milligrams taken uh, one to three times a day. Other retail extract dosage of lion's mane ranges from 300 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams dosed one to three times per day. Check the label and see what the manufacturer recommends. And when first using the supplement, start with the lowest dose and see how your body reacts. Lion's mane mushroom is non-toxic and considered very safe, so there are very few side effects reported. Some neurohackers report itchy skin from higher doses. This is likely due to the boost in nerve growth factor. Lion's mane has been tested in animals, showing no side effects or toxic toxicity, even up to 5 grams per kilogram. That's a lot. Lion's mane mushroom as a supplement is usually offered as an extract, in powdered form or in a capsule. Supplement makers of nootropic stacks sometimes include lion's mane as well. For example, MindLab Pro includes 500 milligrams of full fruit extract in their formula. Each formula will be different depending on synergy with the stack and the type of extract used. When choosing a lion's mane supplement, there's debate over the best form of extraction to achieve the mushroom's full medicinal benefit. Some say your best option is a hot water extraction. Another says alcohol extraction. Another claims both are necessary. But when it comes to mushrooms, saying that one is more potent than another is just too simplified to be true. This is as much an art as it is a science. So look at the manufacturer's literature and marketing material and read the reviews on the shopping sites as well as in the forums and find out which one works best for you. Now the types of lion mane available, you've got plain uh, lion's mane, which is pure powdered mushroom or freeze dried and the this is the cheapest kind available. It can be added to water, juice or smoothies. And then you have lion's mane extracts. It's a more potent form of the mushroom. It's often presented as uh, 12 to 1 or 10 to 1 or 14 to 1 
or 10 to 1 extracts. That would be 14 pounds or 10 pounds reduced to 1 pound of extract. And then there's standardized lion's mane, like they use in uh, MindLab Pro. It's pl processed to produce exact levels of active ingredients. Uh, you can get lion's mane uh, standardized to 30% and 50% polysaccharides. And then you have lion's mane tea. Since this is a popular mushroom in the kitchen, the taste is acceptable, but it's hard to get a handle on how much actual uh, ingredients, active ingredients, you're actually getting when you make a tea out of it. And then there's one called amicinone, PLM fraction. This is a branded product, and it's standardized to 0.5% haricinones and 6% amylobin. It seems to target a lesser known lion's mane extract ingredient, amylobin, which is positioned as a mushroom compound that fights beta amyloid proteins, the kind that you have in Alzheimer's. This comes from Japan and it's extremely expensive and it may be found in a supplement called amylobin um, 3391, I think it is. And if you decide to pick your own before consuming any wild mushroom, make sure that it's accurately identified. Mushroom poisoning is a real problem if you pick the wrong one. For a full list, uh, you can go to the mycological, mycology societies um, that might be able to help you identify what you're looking at. You can go to the North American Mycologic Association website, which is namyco.org. That's namyco.org. And so my Nootropics Expert recommendation for lion's mane is 500 milligrams a day. And that's my report on lion's mane. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for lion's mane or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or if you want to share your experience using Lion's Mane, please use the comment section at the bottom of the uh, article on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert uh, usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos and all the best Nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on Nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.